Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening, my dear respected brothers and sisters, members of the SoCal community, members of the faith communities, our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers, everyone. I'm so happy to be speaking before you this evening. When Salam was uh, talking about who's going to receive the award, I was like, who's that? What was he talking about? So it is definitely humbling. I'm extremely honored, extremely thankful and appreciative for such an honor. For those who know me, uh, you know, I'm not used to speaking public, but uh, let me correct that. I'm not used to uh, receive awards, at least after my sixth grade when I used to receive a lot of those awards and I got my quota filled. But it is definitely something that I'm thankful for, appreciative for, and it gives me hope. It gives me hope and optimism that our community appreciates unity, that our community loves unity, that our community look forward and hope to have us all work together, to have us all love each other, to have us all achieve our goals together. For those who are not familiar with the Shura Council, it's a symbol of unity. It's a symbol of working together. It's a symbol of us loving each other, regardless of our backgrounds, regardless of our schools of thoughts, regardless of our level of education or level of religiosity. This symbol, this organization, is a reflection of each one of you. So this award is actually for each one of you for each one of us who believe in the importance of unity and the importance of professionalism and the importance of us working together all the time. SoCal community, you are amazing. SoCal community, you are one of the best, best and most beautiful communities in the world. You put any farmer, any great farmer in the middle of the desert, he won't be able to plant a tree. But you put a farmer in a fertile garden, he will create wonders. And I think that's where the match came. A great leadership with a fertile environment. This leadership of the organization and the SoCal community, I would like to call it the golden team. The golden team the board members of the Shura Council who are with us today, I would like to extend this award to each one of them. If you can please stand up. <laughs> Dr. Azim, Mr. Waqas, Mr. Awais, Ms. Fawziya, and Mr. Arbaz. Thank you very much for being the best team a captain can ask for. And for their better halves, their spouses who are sitting with them, who complain about their late hours meetings, but still give them the support. For my own better half, who I tried to hide this position for her for long, but I couldn't. One of her biggest complaints, that I assumed this position and she did not know till three months later. But one thing else, one more thing she did not know, that back in 2004, when me and her went to Hajj, when everyone was making dua for wealth and health and children, and she was making dua that I'll always be kind to her and nice to her, I was standing in front of the Kaaba, and I was raising my hand up, and I was calling upon God, asking him, to make me a reason for unity. 
to make me a reason for getting people together, for making me a cause, even if a, a little cause, to bring people together. That is honestly was my dua when I was going to Hajj. And that made me believe, if you have a passion, and if you have a set goal in front of you, and you work hard to achieve it, you will achieve it. You will get it. You just have to believe in yourself and believe in the things that you do, regardless of those who try to put you down. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to our children. We owe it to our youth to build a great community. To build a greater community. To make sure that our children, my son Hamza, my youth Amani, whoever is sitting in the room, that we owe it to them to have a bright future. My advice, and I'll finish with this, for any person who will assume the leadership position, regardless how big the organization is or the team is, three points. Number one, be proud of your faith. There is nothing shameful about our faith. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of who you are and your identity. Don't let the bullies make you change your faith, change your beliefs, twist your faith. So that's number one. Be proud of your faith. Number two, love your community. We have a beautiful community in SoCal. And the amount of love that I personally have to each one of the members of the SoCal community is beyond what my words can express. That love does not differentiate between a Sunni or a Shia. That love does not differentiate between a rich and poor person. That love does not differentiate between a black or white, Hispanic or Asian. Daisy or Arab, that love should be expressed with genuine service and the ability to dedicate your life to serve that community that you love. <clears throat> Number three, serve the society that you live within. Serve the nation that we love and we live in. We deserve all kinds of respect, and we deserve all kind of appreciation. But we won't be able to get it until we dedicate our lives and effort to serve the societies around us. Choose one thing and make sure that is your goal to serve the society around you. I really thank MPAC, the Muslim Public Affairs Council, for this award. And I thank Impact for this beautiful evening. But more than that, I thank you, Impact, for what you're doing on our behalf. For what you're doing on behalf of my children and my grandchildren. I thank you for every night that you stayed up to defend our rights and promote our causes. And I thank you for being my voice and my family's voice and my community's voice in everywhere you can. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.